Hey everybody! It's Nerdy. Today we're gonna be playing Finger Bones! A psychological horror game by David Sizemansky? Did I get that right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, as a person who's used to their name being mispronounced all the time, I completely um, understand, sympathize. I completely sympathize with you with my mispronunciation of your last name. I'm sorry. My my first name's French, not Polish? Okay. Fingerbones is intended to be completed in a single sitting. Good, because I like that. And there is no save function. Great, I hate that. It is suggested that you set aside about half an hour to complete it. To exit, visit the door you started at. This might be a long game, because I'm not good at games. <laughs> Use WADS to move and left <laughs> I'm sorry, I cracked myself up and the left mouse button to interact with the environment, press escape to toggle the screen, press I to invert the mouse okay mouse sensitivity game volume okay, alright let's start this, how do I oh this is gonna be an edit Oh, well, press escape to toggle the screen. Great. Oh, my dear lord. Alright, well, I... I don't know how get to get back to that screen, so we're just gonna suffer through this insane mouse sensitivity. Mouse sensitivity. I hope you don't, you don't scare me too much here. Okay. It's pretty bright over here. that knife up? No, but this is... Can I read this? Paper? Oh, okay. It's my weekend to get Katie. But I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help, because I am not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosoph philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Your relationships is the price of knowledge. That seems to be a theme in the science world. I gave up my love because I needed to science. You guys, it never really works out. Oh. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Um, ew. Is this a sex game? Do I go somewhere and... I'm not... Dude. Not into sex games. On computers. Don't need that. Don't need that. I might have a younger audience. I don't know my audience. Hi, audience. How are you? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing pretty okay. Um, kind of unnerved because I think this might be a sex game. Oh, uh, oh, I think I picked up a flashlight. And here's more. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. <laughs> Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. Duh. Do you think the Kardashians have a rational thought in their heads at all? If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. Actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral. Unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. What are you playing as a freaking Vulcan? A sex Vulcan? That doesn't make any sense. They only have sex for, like, logical region reasons. Which is significantly boring. 
Alright, is there... That, that's one big-ass spider. Making those webs. Alright, let's click. Everywhere. Looks kind of, you know, a bit Minecrafty. I'm really sad that I don't remember how to change the settings on this because this mouse sensitivity is out of this world. So if you start this game and are like me, very forgettable or have a mind that likes to forget, um, set your mouse sensitivity low. Or, you know, just have a really rigid... Oh, okay, since I exited the game, I'm back in the game and I fixed my... Yeah, I fixed my... Mouse settings. Okay, let's get the fuck out of this room without exiting the game for a random stupid reason. It's just, I'm just gonna rapidly click on everything, because I don't understand what I'm doing in this game. Should take half an hour to finish this game unless you, you're me, because I don't I don't finish simple games very quick. Because mm, I overthink things and I'm manic, so... doesn't get scary soon. Oh. I'm so used to the E being the strife in key, but I don't have that in this game. It's D. I'm <laughs> uh, when I want to move sideways, I'm usually looking for the D. Or the E. Or no, I'm sorry, the A. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Oh, I forgot to pick that up yet. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. This is a real problem. I think we just read this one. Yeah, we did. Hmm. Not smart. Open! Motherfucker. There's a key in here and I'm gonna have the same goddamn problem I have. Every single of the time I play games where it's like, Hey, why don't you just find the fucking key and get the fuck out of here? like if I could pick up one of these knives that would be freaking great because then I could defend myself with you know if something were to happen did I read this I don't know why I'd, I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker shit what the fuck is her name but whatever keeps her happy I suppose she's like her mother a delicate fragile version of her mother Damn her. Fucking daughter. Meh. That looks like a weird thing. Alright, let's go read the first page, though, because I don't remember what the daughter's name is, because... Katie! I, why didn't I remember that? I feel like I offended a Katie. I'm sorry, Katie. But I just don't see the daughters. Oh, and it's got nothing to do with that door. What the... Guys, I just don't know. I'm so bad at these. Why do I... Oh, there's something glowing here. Oh! Katie! Wait, did that not work? Why is it not, Katie? Okay, so Catherine probably was the password. Or just typing Katie in like a million times. Oh god. What, but why does it have to be dark in here? Random box. Random books. Oh, here's some more QR codes. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days. Can you stop crying? You're kind of interrupting my monologue here. Rude. And she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Well, she's your daughter, bro. You should probably protect her and keep her safe, asshole. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I survived because we ran to the bunker. 
Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Sounds really creepy. Sounds really creepy. God damn you, Lynn. How dare you divorce me because my work is more important than your life. QR code. code bleh. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't scientific ed for scientific edification. Good with words. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder my by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyways. Bro, but don't make weird fucking breathing noises. If there's gonna be something um, that's gonna come kill me, and I didn't pick up one of those knives because I couldn't pick up one of those knives, I'm gonna be really pissed, Mr. Last name that I couldn't pronounce. Click on it. QR codes! Get them! Why can't I? Is this... I can't even jump, so let's just go down here. Okay, there we go. The tool room has been her name for years now. I can't bring myself to change it. Lynn, probably. Probably, because what would you name your ex's... What would you name your tool room? You would name it after your ex. My freaking ex, Lynn, who's a total tool. Get it? Probably not. I might be just, you know, projecting things, but whatever. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? Mmm. Guys. So let's go up here and put Lynn's name into this computer thingy. What the fuck is Lynn short for? Linda. That's not how you spell Linda. Whatever. Maybe I... will just... Because what if I locked it again with my fucking typing of the things? Um, seriously though, let's like unlock things, guys. Because I want to press in this game. And not have it take me six hours. Puzzles. I'm really good at shooting things. You can't shoot anything in this game. Yeah! What's up? Tool room? Got more QR codes? Yeah, you do! I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. N-N-Y. The rest of the word is missing. Great! N-N-Y. Guys, remember that. Pick up these things. Really, just please just pick up anything to defend yourself. Bro, you're gonna die hardcore. You're gonna hardcore die, and it's gonna scare the crap out of me. Okay. I really enjoy the fact that we have to go upstairs every frackin' time to unlock the other doors. More QR codes. There are things I wanted, I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly... Hmm, it's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep these desires locked up anymore. Yes, I don't like that breathing thing that that creepy person, probably a child, sound very childlike breathing. Okay. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we are, we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. And it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. This dude killed his daughter. Or turned her into a monster. Oh, look at that blood area. Totally killed his daughter. What a fucking tool. 
Okay, but NNY. Dude, if ugh, you're too stupid to even arm yourself. Fuck me. Fuck me. So there's creepy breathing downstairs in this basement area that I don't agree with because it's it sounds very ch like like a little girl's heavy breathing. I had to turn on the freaking generator, man. I had to do it to unlock all the other doors with crazy, ridiculous codes. Okay, NNY. Okay, that didn't make any difference. Uh, Jenny? If I just put in things, maybe we'll figure it out. But I don't want to go downstairs again because this guy won't pick up any freaking tools to defend himself against his probably ghost daughter. What's his daughter's name? Katie and Lynn. And the thing is NNY. Mm. Oh, fuck me. That was right. That was right, and I just. Mm. God, I'm so annoyed. So now we're walking back to the basement because I figured out finally that Lynn spelled backwards is in fact NNYL. Unlike before, when I was like, "This is how you spell Lynn backwards." <sighs> Guys, I'm just, I'm sorry. I just sometimes I don't know. My... Okay, but don't tense up and give yourself a Charlie horse because that's just stupid. I'm a bag of DNA, and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served as a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and protect their genes. <sighs> Creepy, you fucked your daughter, didn't you, bro? Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination, fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They use the sir. <laughs> Good with words! They use to serve a purpose. And now they're needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth, for all I know, ready to be freed from them. No, you're not. Not when I'm playing you, bro. You are not doing whatever. No. My daughter is the last person on earth along with me. She remembers Father's Day. And now I'm having all these creepy realizations of like, oh, they just made up these rules because... Eh, gross. Fuck you. She's gonna stare at the floor. It's so very real. The sound in my ear is so very real. Like, I feel like there's a little girl, like... Okay. That's so weird. Okay. Okay. Alright, I thought that was a shadow of a people. It's not. What the frack, man? What now? What the frack now? that button. I can do all the things in this room. I'm really wary about doing all the things. Because I feel like something's gonna random jump scare me. And I'm not prepared for a jump scare. I'm never prepared for a jump scare. Who am I lying? Tiny daughter person, please forgive me. I did not do this because I had just gotten 
control of your father, and if I had known that he had even these thoughts, I would have made him commit harikari completely the first second that I came in control of him. Because clearly, obviously, awful, fucking terrible, these things that he is insinuating. But what am I supposed to do now? Oh, they look like finger bones! The cellar is freedom. Well, it's not just like, you know... Distinguished. Are we supposed to... What are we supposed to do, though? Because that's... Is it just open now? Because I read that? Should I write it? Mm, maybe I did a thing. Maybe I did a thing to make me scare my pants off in a second when I go down to the cellar and... <laughs> Creepy things are gonna happen. I feel it. I ripped the finger bones out of your daughter. You did something really fucked up and I'm not prepared for it. Guys, if you didn't know this about me... I'm a fucking scaredy pants and I am not about this. This is not cool, bro. Why is your flashlight dying now? Oh, fuck. QR codes, QR codes. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway. And I'm free now. Freedom. I took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. You killed your daughter?! Why, why do I have to endure the scares that is going to happen to your life? Because you're an asshole. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Oh, fuck. I just need to get this over with. Dude, what did you do? She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood, blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge I haven't done anything wrong. Yes, you did! You f you clearly did. Can this be the end of the game, please? Don't. The father didn't know why he came. he'd come back after all these years starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. Okay. And that's it. Well, that was really, uh... That sucked. That guy was a dick. And I hope he died in that cellar, also. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, I guess. Totally cool. Finger bones, that was really creepy. Like, really good job on creeping me out. But um, that guy was a dick. And he should die. I hope he's dead. I hope you're a fictional character in a video game. Okay, yeah. Alright. Bye, thanks for watching, subscribe and like and share if you liked it. But if you didn't like it, I guess you can dislike it because this is a free internet country, I guess. Alright, bye.